Welcome to Workflow 1, Before the Patient's Visit. In this workflow, we will review how to log in and view the schedule, manage appointments, and how to access a patient chart. To sign into Akira, you need to go to the web browser uh, for the Akira Cloud. This is the Okta QHR Tech. You put your username in here. Go next, put in your password. And if you're a brand new user, once you go into here, you'll need to do a two-step verification. Uh, that would be set up before you sign in. And then you'd click on this target, take hero EMR. It will download and it should open up. So this is what will pop up right before the EMR opens. And it should pop up to the scheduler. Uh, if it doesn't open to that page, just click on scheduler over here on the left, and it should pop up to the date. Um, if you are wanting to switch to a different day, you can go ahead by a day, and it will click ahead for a week or a month. So to skip ahead, if you want to see an actual calendar, you can click down in the bottom and little calendar icon and you can skip ahead and choose a date specifically from here and it should just go to it and you can exit that and it will show up for that day. Managing patient appointments. So if you want to book an appointment, you have to go up here, put in the patient's name that you're wanting to book. And so we're going with Chester Amanda. So she's needing to book in on Tuesday, the 27th. Once she's selected over here, you can find the day and time that you're wanting to book. She wants to book for Tuesday at 11 a.m. Right click and go create appointment. From there, you can specify what type of appointment she's needing. If it's telehealth and a phone call or a video call, that's the best way. Physical. Um, usually a longer appointment, phone call, half appointment, office visit. Office visit is the most likely, and then double check the time here is correct. And if it needs to be longer, maybe it's 30 minute appointment, click on that. And if you want, you can put a note here. She needs to come in, has a cough. And if you need to remind yourself that she's been tested for COVID and it's negative, you can put it in here just as a reminder. Once done, double check all the things and press OK, and it will go in the schedule. The pop-up will show up if you click on her uh, when she comes in for the appointment. And when she arrives, you can put arrived. If she didn't show up, you can choose no show. And that shows she did not show for the appointment. And if she cancels last minute, you can click on cancel appointment here and make sure to choose a drop down patient canceled but she actually canceled short notice so you can specify that and press okay and i'll take it out of the schedule to access a patient's chart make sure to put their name in at the top specify who you're wanting first we'll go with tester testing make sure they're in there and then go to EMR. Uh, this will show, so you press EMR over here, and then you can go to virtual chart. This is uh, their chart notes, any records they've had. They will all show up here. You can look by date or type, something like that. Or you can also go into encounter notes tab up here in the, in the top left, and it will give uh, their past appointments, over here and here are their chart notes and records. So when you're done looking in the patient's chart, you can just go back to scheduler to see who's coming in next. And you just make sure you click in the panel over here on the left on scheduler and that brings you right back. This now concludes workflow one. Thanks for watching.